Okay, so hello YouTube. Today we are at Mario's house and we are doing the unboxing of something very special. It is a Bitman's Ant Miner L3 Plus. And let's take a look at what we have inside. So I believe that the smaller box is the power supply and the bigger box is the miner itself. Okay, I believe that this thing classifies as a no bullshit package. True story. So there is this thing we have, which is a warranty, I suppose. Overclocking of the miner will void the warranty. And as they say, all sales are final, so no refunds will be given. Okay, this is, this is basically fuck Wong. <laughs> yeah, okay. We do not need this. Let's take a look at the miner itself. Okay, so unlike everybody that has a uh, well, shitload of GPUs, this is actually rather small. So, let's take a look. So, there are actually two fans. One is, I believe, an intake, and the other one is exhaust. This is the uh, power supply connector. Everything is made of, out of uh, aluminum, so it, I guess, it conducts heat and so again, Ant Miner L3 sub model 504M, and I actually believe that 504 is the uh, mining hash rate. So there you go. You obviously know the mining hash rate just by a model name, and uh, uh, that model actually uses the same as the L3, the same uh, chip, I believe, but I believe it has. Uh, well, more chips, I suppose. So the original uh, model uh, L3 has 144 chips, unlike this one, which has double, which is 288. And the chip type is BM1485. So, okay, uh, let's take a look at the power supply. This is the professional scalpel, as you can see. So, again, no bullshit package. Looks like a server power supply. And, uh, okay, <laughs> this is definitely no bullshit um, connectors. Uh, it's quite heavy and uh, let's take a look at the uh, power supply. So, 220 volts input and output 132 amps. Basically, you can do some badass soldering with this. Um, and that's all she wrote. This is a fan which I believe is rather noisy. We will be connecting it and see just how much of the noise this thing makes and we'll be configuring it. So let's hook everything up. Well basically it is quite simple. Okay, let's hear the noise. Yeah, as I said, as I said, this is a very noisy fan. So obviously, this is a server fan. These fans at the moment are not that noisy. Okay, so we are at the moment scanning the uh, range. Uh, we're using the Soft Perfect Network Scanner because Angry IP for some reason sometimes does not work. So basically, this is what we um, found so far. And in the background, as you can see. One fan started spinning and it's already making uh, well, quite a huge noise. So, this is the noise that just started to, uh, well, to happen. Even though nothing is uh, actually working yet, we are still scanning for the, uh, for the IP address of this thing. But this thing gets uh, pretty noisy and gets pretty noisy very quick. Okay, so the scan finished and unfortunately, I'm not quite sure why, the address is not shown. Although the address is this one. And we will be opening it uh, inside the browser, just a second, I'm sorry. Now the login uh, for this one is root and the password is root as well. And there you have it, basically this is the Antminer L3 Plus and the version of everything. Now we will be configuring it in order to mine. Now bear in mind that uh, Mario uh, is mining uh, game coin, I believe. Uh, because at this uh, day it gives about seven dollars more, something like that anyway. Okay, so as you can see, uh, 
if you have a hash rate of 500 and you could calculate you actually get more than you would get for uh, for a lit coin obviously again okay so let's configure the miner so basically this is the configuration of the miner and uh, what you need to do is the enter well basically it's the same for every single one of those so basically what you need to enter is the pool and now uh, the last pool was dead okay so not working so what we did was copy paste the uh, pool 2 to pool 3 and this one uh, from uh, th uh, from 1 to 2 and basically we'll be adding our pool to uh, pool 1 okay and yeah as a worker 1 uh, URL will be the uh, supernovas one exactly and uh, worker name will be kaxkant.antl3 which is the name of the worker that has been registered uh, the, uh, with the uh, uh, supernova uh, account okay as you can see here and uh, basically that is it we can start mining save and apply and that is it okay so the miner has been configured and it has restarted I believe and we'll be hearing how loud just this thing gets when it starts mining the fan is spinning somewhat but I believe not that it's uh, well fastest RPMs so yeah the sound of this fan is actually constant and uh, it's always on okay it did increase the speed and I believe it is increasing yeah uh, the air is getting somewhat hot and just to see how uh, powerful this is at the moment So it's even increasing the speed further. Okay, so once the miner has been configured, you can actually click on miner status. And you can see whether it is alive or not. And as you can see, this one is alive. So it is mining and it is... Uh, well, it is working. So basically, yeah, that is it.